Hello my friends, hello. This is it. This is the video where I take all the evidence, everything that I have covered, and combining it with the cutscene about the witness's origins, seek to give you the answer to the greatest mystery of the Destiny 2 franchise. Were the pyramid ships created by ancient humanity? I'm excited, and I'm eager not to waste your time, so let's just get into it. All began with this picture here, created by Mark Kolobayev, and after Shadowkeep made me realize it was still relevant, I went digging and found several pieces of information that became the bedrock for my theory moving forward. I really started digging into all of this in June or July of 2020 for those curious. Oh, and what also confirmed to me that this picture was still relevant was that on Mark's website, there are locked Destiny 2 pictures, which I speculate to be of the Pyramid Race's civilization, and they're still there to this day. And when Mark told me that Bungie would not let him unlock the pictures, that was when I knew for sure that these were relevant for the future. But anyway, let's get to dissecting the big boy picture. The first point was that there was a race connected to the pyramids, now this has been proven 100% correct, so I won't go too much into it, but this was gained from the presence of culture within the picture. Things like hieroglyphics, buildings designed to be lived in, and of course, the busts of the women confirmed that these ships were not the actual darkness or triangle equivalents of the Traveler. For the record, this was also the same time as when I really learned about the Winnower and Gardener, and I have been talking about their existence ever since. The second piece of information that I gained was that this race only got as powerful as they did due to gaining a golden age from the Traveler or Gardener. I learned this by picking up on the fact that the race evolved extremely rapidly, having ancient architecture in the foreground, futuristic architecture in the midground, and a mix or combination of the two in the background, having a pyramid ship. Keeping the older style of the architecture, showed me that even though the technology had advanced insanely fast, the actual culture and people, civilization, they hadn't. And to wrap all of this together, you had the cause and reason for such an evolution present as well. The Traveler, held up by the statues, along with these statues of who I claimed to be the Gardener, and I still do. I believed that there was a race connected to the pyramids, that they had been given a golden age by the gardener, and that they had worshipped her before turning on her, becoming what they are now. <laughs> we got that right, didn't we boys? But at the same time, I just thought they were aliens, until I looked deeper into it. The fifth race of Destiny 1, people. The statues in the picture, people. The architecture, inspired by ancient humanity, the pyramid ships and this picture having literal canopic jars, ancient humanity, the language, very similar to Egyptian hieroglyphics, the race using actual pyramids, ancient humanity. And by the way, while I was in the process of writing the script, I had a realization. You see, in the cutscene that we just got, the pyramids have the tops cut off. Okay, so they've scrapped the idea of there being actual pyramids in a desert. But then when you look at the picture I was just talking about, you realize that the pyramid ships were actually designed to come off of a larger base. And if you keep that concept in mind, this cutscene makes a lot more sense. I just thought I'd throw that in there. Anyway, everything in this picture that I saw, all of it screamed ancient humanity. And when I went to the lore, I was shocked. Tyra Karn said that humans of the old world were the first to discover the void and that they used it to see the dead. What? 
And then you have Nezarek, being worshipped by presumably ancient humanity as the final god of pain, but also the purest light. And we do know now that he did in fact have the void, and the ability to consistently come back to life, which is a light-based ability. Now there is a lot, <laughs> there's a lot that I can say when it comes to Nezarek. And originally, I had a big video planned called Nezarek, the Betrayed God. I think I just might finish that someday, let me know if you want me to. But not in this video, we'll be here a lot longer than we need to be. But my point is that once again, ancient humanity kept coming up. And it had a link to the light, which would be impossible unless there was a golden age. So finally, the straw that broke this camel's back was the lore concerning the K-1 anomaly on the moon. Long story short, during the Golden Age, they found pyramid tech on the moon that was dated to have been there for a very, very, very long time. We're three years into the future, and after seeing this cutscene and knowing that all pyramid tech was built by the race, that alone should make all of you very, very suspicious. But for me, back then, it was enough. Let me quote you a line from the Eldritch Theory, the first video that kind of kicked all of this off to begin with. If a pyramid relic was found during the Golden Age deep within the moon, and I know that the pyramids and their technology weren't made by the Winnower, but by the race that controls them, then doesn't that mean that centuries, if not thousands of years before the collapse, this race, so inspired by ancient Egypt, was once on the moon? To quote a great master, there are no coincidences in this world. And yeah, that was the moment when I realized they had to be human. So, on top of this race existing, having a golden age from the gardener before turning on her and hunting her down, they were originally from Earth, and that makes them human. And before I forget, we have this scrapped cutscene of the collapse, which has people being disintegrated, like, like seriously disintegrated, and there are no records of that ever happening, especially when we see how people died during the collapse, like look at this picture here. Now, I believe that this is from a story that was scrapped, potentially when Bungie came up with The Witness, but all of it ties into a video I had planned called The Ancient Enemy That The Traveler Destroyed. Again, this story or theory, it isn't canon and it's not going to happen, at least I don't think so. But I think the foundations of it were there from the base D2 up until Shadowkeep. Just watch the first cutscene of Destiny 2 and you'll know what I'm talking about. But anyway, if you don't want me to make this video about the ancient enemy that the Traveler destroyed and what my theory is about that, let me know. And so, with this bedrock behind me, I was certain that Beyond Light would finally reveal the Pyramid Race to us. And after being given an insane cinematic about the Pyramid on Europa turning on, we got to play a campaign about the Fallen, a strike about the Vex, and lore about a dark timeline that was never going to happen. But with Beyond Light came something really, really interesting. Art. On Art Station, I was made aware that the artist Aaron Cruz had pictures titled King and Queen, dot dot dot, with seemingly a pyramid race King and Queen, along with other statues that may have been early concepts of the Witness, and get this, the base of the King and Queen statues made it into Beyond Light. They can be found in the first week of the Exo Challenges. And the statues themselves, they made it into the game files as textures. Yes, the King and Queen made it from concept to 3D modeling to the actual game files. And when do I believe this happened? I believe it happened in Shadowkeep. And then there were these very suspicious statues here. Ancient Egyptian themed statues with human bodies, although their heads were missing. And after bringing awareness to these statues on Reddit and my channel, the artist changed the pictures from just being environmental prep studies to ancient statues. And I believe that these were a foundation for ancient statues we would get in the next expansion. Speaking of which, <laughs> get the pun, Witch Queen didn't just change the art style of the pyramid race, it confirmed 100% to me that they were human. Statues of human bodies, horses from Earth, lions, ancient god statues that are knockoffs of actual ancient Egyptian deities. 
I kid you not, this statue here, you look up a statue of Sekhmet and it's basically the same. They just swapped a lion for a cow. You have architecture that is strikingly similar to that of the Sumerian era. Eris saying that we have a mysterious kinship with the pyramids and a relic that has the Latin alphabet present on it. And by the way, this wasn't a once-off. You can find it in Rourke's Pyramid and also in Callus's Pyramid Ship. And Savvy herself saying that yes, there was a race and that they had the light and the darkness. I said it back in the day. I said that Savathun never lies about the same thing twice. And yeah, I was right. She was telling the truth. And if that wasn't enough, Bungie artist Andrew Kreutzer had this art on his art station, not tagged as Destiny 2, but 100% pyramid ship related. And after I asked him about it, he took it down. It's gone. I'm the only reason we even know about it, and my friends, of course, who helped me find it. And unless this is of the gardener, then it is literally the pyramid race 100%, which, if that's the case, yeah, they're human 100%. And on top of all of this, we're not even done. We have art showing culture and history. Levels that are designed to be museums and places of worship. And that's not me saying it. That's coming from the bungee artists themselves. And concept art of the witness that shows normal looking people whose eyes do not look like that in the cutscene, by the way. There were display cases of pyramids that do not look like this. You had actual normal pyramids in a desert. And art that shows their golden age. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm joking, I'm joking. This isn't Destiny, but it was made by Mark Kolobayev, which is kind of interesting, whatever. And so, with this, I stood alone and I said that yes, there is a pyramid race and that yes, they were human. And that no, the witness was not the actual darkness and certainly not the big bad of the franchise in my opinion. And as for the witness, well, that confirmed that between this and the pyramids waking up at the end of the Red War, something happened to the race that made them lose their bodies, forcing them to become or rely on the child of darkness, the Witness. I'm not going to go into it, but as I stated in one of my previous videos, I believe that the pyramid race basically ascended to the spiritual realm. Although they're physically contained to the Witness, I believe that their souls are free to roam within a certain distance of something, I'll talk about that in a bit. And yeah, when you hear the whispers, that's them in their spiritual form talking. So I had this realization and I had to wonder, they lost their bodies and they were stuck in the soul realm or the spiritual realm or whatever. Was it the wrath of the gardener? Was it the result of them experimenting on themselves? Or was it a madman's deal with the devil? Is Was it the witness who was a character who wanted more and so sacrificed his whole people to get that? We would have to wait until Lightfall to find out. And after a pretty mid-cinematic, I'll be honest with you, we got... <laughs> I can't do this anymore, man. I can't take it anymore. <laughs> It was pretty rough, I'm not gonna lie. I was unrelenting, as uh, one of the guys in my Discord said. But yeah, Lightfall did introduce one piece of information when it came to the Pyramid Race. They were the Veil's first victims. Okay, so their fate was tied to the Veil. On top of that, I went digging into the Veil. And I learned why they named the place the Irkala Complex. And after that, I created a theory that linked the Cloud Arc to the statues of the Veiled Woman, and the striking similarities that exist between the holographic people of Niamuna and the Pyramid Race in their current form. And I'm not going to be talking too much about that in this video, but maybe someday I'll talk about my Cloud Arc theory. Why do I keep doing that? Why do I keep saying, I have this great concept and maybe I'll talk about it later? <laughs> I'm sorry, okay? Um, but this one, the Cloud Arc one, this one I plan on making regardless of what you say. I don't care! And finally now, we come to the present. The cutscene is out. And it confirms 100% that the Witness is not the winner. That there was a pyramid race 
they had their golden age, and after discovering the veil and the darkness, they turned on the gardener. Now, why did they all leave their home, kill themselves, and become the witness? I believe they were manipulated by the winnower, the same way that the witness manipulated the proto-hive back in the day. If you watched my last video, you'll know why I think that. And so now, after all this buildup, I will answer the question presented to me by taking my reverse UNO card and presenting it to you. How does this cutscene do anything but confirm that they were human? Like I said before, it alone cannot by itself prove or disprove that they were human. One can state that they are not humans because their eyes look weird and their pyramids don't have tops, so therefore they weren't the same pyramids we see in Egypt. Okay, well, art and in-game assets provide the answer to that. And if the cutscene is vague, and it cannot disprove that they were human, then why should I do anything but point you towards the discoveries made over the last three years? They have our bodies. They have our animals from our planet. Architecture from several of our cultures. Languages from ancient Earth. A connection to our moon from thousands of years ago. And the list goes on. My friends, there is only one possible way that it can be confirmed that the pyramid race were not human. And it is by taking all of the art, all of the architecture, all of the lore, and all of the continuity and throwing it out of the window. There is only one question that remains unanswered, and it is very important. If they were human, and their golden age was on Earth, when did it happen? The witness has existed since before the hive, so doesn't that mean that it's impossible for the pyramids to have come from Earth? I have my theories, but ultimately I cannot, right now anyway, give you a specific time of when their golden age happened or why we can't find evidence of it, although I do have theories. All I can say is that I have gathered all the evidence over time that I can, and that this is the overwhelming answer that I am left with. It is up to Bungie to fill in the gaps. <laughs> And there you go. That is what I think of the cutscene and how it affects my theory so far. I want to also let you know that all of the evidence that I've touched on, for the most part, has independent videos made about them. So if you want to hear me go into more detail about them, they're all there for you. Bro, <laughs> I just remembered the glaives, and the weapon crafting, and the enclave. Oh man, there's no end to the evidence. I could, I'm not going to go into it. I'm not going to go into it. Anyway, anyway. Anyway, I hope we can 100% confirm all of this in the final shape. And if we do, I'll be cheering right there alongside you. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, finding it either entertaining or informative. And if I sniped that wombo combo, maybe both? Let me know. I'll talk to you all real soon. Take care, my friends. Me, me.